With the click of a mouse, you can get crucial and not so crucial medicines delivered to your door, and 77 million EU citizens admit to doing it. But when buying medicine online, what you see is not necessarily what you get. Up to 50% of the time, they are fakes. At the Belgian Federal Agency for Medicines and Health Products, the evidence is clear. Europe has a drug problem, and rehabilitation won't be so simple. Si on compte qu'on a à peu près ici euh, 3000 colis postales, le résultat d'une transaction Internet, euh, ça veut quand même dire qu'on n'a pas vu la fin euh, de ces fléaux-là. A European law is in the works to stop this scourge, but the Commission failed to include the Internet in its proposals. A parliamentary committee sought to remedy this with a report on the matter. Rapporteur Marissa Matthias proposed other ways to fight the online fakes. Public awareness and, uh, and, uh, and the distinction between legal and illegal e-pharmacies and uh, some measures like warnings and the logo which can guarantee that the sites are certificated. There are other ways of getting your hands on fake meds. The black market is flooded with products originating in countries like China and India. This MEP wants EU norms to be respected in these third countries. Les inspections doivent être importantes, y compris les inspections dans les pays extérieurs à l'Union européenne qui fabriquent des médicaments et nous devons à ce moment-là exiger qu'ils respectent les normes européennes que nous exigeons pour les laboratoires qui fabriquent en Europe. These proposals were all adopted by the committee today and will now face the rest of the MEPs during the plenary in June. Dankeschön.